What's up, everybody? In this video, Ike says, please react to this amazing woman's What I Eat in a Day. The link is her explaining why she's skinny, but also she's paralyzed from a spine injury. Yikes. Hey, guys. Oh, wow. Sucks to see hot girls paralyzed, huh? Um, hmm. Okay. All right, anyway, why is she skinny? I'm gonna guess because she doesn't eat that much. I don't know, or she can't like move around that much. Oh my god, that's really too skinny. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm prejudging, but like, you know, gotta you gotta eat if you want to not be skinny, right? Like, is that insensitive of me to say? Um, anyway, if you guys have any other recommendations for videos or YouTubers, who is this, by the way? Tiffany Natanos. Uh, yeah, let me know. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit more serious. Ever since I started the YouTube thing, I've been getting a lot of comments, some nice and like, you know, curious and some not that nice about my weight. Just want to let you guys know that I do have mirrors in my house. I'm very aware that I am paper thin, okay? I get it. The reason that I am so thin is because I have a stomach disease. It is called gastroparesis. What that means is that my stomach doesn't digest food as fast as it should. So it takes my stomach a lot longer to digest food so I cannot eat as much. I think I've lost maybe 50 to 60 pounds. I used to be 150 pounds and I am now around 90 pounds. I've seen plenty of stomach doctors and surgeons, nutritionists, dietitians. I've been to everybody and the only conclusion is to eat healthy. And it's very hard to gain weight when A, you can't eat as All right, what did she call it? Gastro something? Mm. Disease where you do not digest food properly. Uh, I wanna, oh, gastroparesis takes too long to empty food. Hmm. Yeah, so she is she paralyzed? I don't I don't understand. Is is that why is, is she I don't get it. Quadriplegic. Okay. I don't think quadriplegic. I think she can move her arms. So that would be paraplegic. Um Yeah. So like when I watch stuff like this, I want I want to ask these people perhaps insensitively, like have you ever tried raw meat or raw eggs? Because those foods are arguably the most nutrient dense and also the easiest to digest. So you won't have really any, like it's, you should be doing that. I mean, whatever, like Tiffany Natanos, like, will she ever watch this? I don't know, should I leave a comment? I'm gonna start leaving comments on these videos. Um, I know this is an old video, but have you ever tried eating raw meat and or drinking raw eggs? They are um, surprisingly, uh, extremely easy to digest and very nutrient dense. So it sounds like it might um, solve, well, uh, help you out uh, just my two cents, whatever. Um, yeah, like eat healthy, like, you know, nutritionists don't know shit, doctors don't know shit. Eat healthy to them means, well, make sure you eat five servings of vegetables a day like people are idiots not not her i'm, I'm the, the quote unquote experts that she's going to um you know i'm i'm not i'm not optimistic of course you should like listen to what i say i know much more as much because your body won't let you and b you have to eat very healthy things anything fried will irritate my stomach it'll give me a flare-up so yeah anything with a lot of fat um processed meats steak um in particular i think it's just red meats basically that give me a problem dairy is also hard to digest so anything that's like hard to digest is not good for me to eat because my stomach needs me to baby it basically i feel like i shouldn't even have to address this i mean people who are thicker don't have to go on their channels and explain why they're a little bit heavier so i don't think that um so again she'll never watch this maybe maybe she'll read my comment but even if she does read my comments like who the fuck is this guy uh raw eggs so easy to digest like a any of you out there i know there's this whole stigma raw eggs oh my god you drink raw eggs like aren't you worried like how come you don't have salmonella how come you didn't get cancer from that how come you know whatever how are you still alive you must be special your stomach must be different than everybody else's stomach um 
and okay, fine. Uh, she's paralyzed. I guess that you could, you could make the argument that that injury might have an effect on her overall like digestion. That that is plausible. It's you know logical to think that, right? Um, but at the end of the day, you know, raw eggs are easy to digest. If if you do have some sort of issue where food is harder for you to digest, then you should be eating foods that are easier to digest, like fried food. Like, who doesn't have a problem with fried food? Um, a steak, probably not the best. Like, how are you cooking the steak? You know. Anyway, I wouldn't recommend cooked meat either. Cooked meat is not. I mean, it's it's definitely better than most things. But if, if she's eating like fruits and vegetables, you know, I, I don't know. Like, just try raw eggs. I had 26 raw eggs yesterday, and actually 26. I had 10, 10, and then six. And it felt like I had nothing in my stomach. It was just digested immediately. I also worked out for like two and a half hours. But I, I feel today like I have everything I need. I feel amazing. I got like four hours sleep. Anyway, whatever. Try it, don't try it, I don't care. That it's something that I should even have to do. And it's weird because I've never had anybody comment on my weight before because I was always normal and healthy looking in my eyes. So when I became skinnier and people would just straight up ask me like, do you eat? Why are you so skinny? Somebody give that girl a hamburger. It's like, do you go up to people with cancer and say, why are you bald? So, I mean, it sucks because it's invisible. I can't, you know, there's not a sign on my forehead that says I. Okay. So uh, that's like 50% accurate, I guess, or th that's 50% valid concern. Um, you know, we don't say that to people. Why are you so fat? Maybe a kid might say that, but could make the argument that like you should be saying that to people who are fat. And also cancer does not cause baldness. Okay, chemotherapy and radiation therapy cause baldness. If you if you get cancer, your hair doesn't fall out, right? You get cancer as a result of this like ineffective treatment that costs hundreds of thousands of dollars, you know, to make money for these companies that provide the treatment. Let's just clarify that. Um, but you know, that's, that's not her point, I guess. Her point is like, why should I have to have to explain why I'm skinny? Um, I don't know, like this, this kind of sounds like, why should I have to explain why I haven't found a solution to my problem is really what it is. Assuming she actually, like, honestly, like if I didn't know she was paralyzed, I would say she looks much better now than she did in that before picture, wherever that is. Where is it? Here. Like, this is not, it's like night and day. This girl, I, I don't want to like give out number ratings here or anything, but like this girl's way hotter, you know, or she's way hotter now, whatever. Uh, but like, you know, I don't know. You, sh you should be, you should try raw eggs. You should be eating more. I don't know. Or don't, I don't care. Like do whatever you want. But like, you have to understand that maybe these people don't know what they say they know. And I think that when a girl is attractive like this, it's very tempting to, to be like, oh, she's a hero, she's this, she's that. Because, um, you know, it's, it sucks to be in this situation. Like, not only are you paralyzed, but now you can't digest food properly. It's not good. Um, yeah, anyway. That says I have stomach disease, don't comment on my weight. Invisible illness really isn't spoken about. Nobody, I mean, when I say invisible illness, people are like, what does that mean? I'm like, so now that I have a platform basically within social media, I think that as a person who suffers from an invisible illness, it's my job to talk about it and just bring more awareness to it because um, that's something that I don't see enough of. So anybody who has asked me questions or commented on my weight, now you have an answer. I mean, I have talked about it in a past video, um, basically just explaining that I lost a lot of weight and I have gastroparesis, but people are still asking. So I figured I would just sit down and make a video. I'm a person who always sticks up for myself and I don't want to be reading these things every single day, so hopefully me sitting down and making this video is gonna kind of shut some people up. That is my miniature rant. Everybody who watched this, I hope you took something away from it. Maybe you learned something. Uh, maybe you have an invisible illness and you're finally happy to see somebody talking about it. So yeah, thank you for watching this video and I will see you guys next time, bye. I don't know, I mean, at the end of the day, like, I guess she made this video because she didn't want people to comment on the fact that she's so skinny. So I see a lot of like anorexic girls watching this. Oops. I see a lot of like anorexic girls watching this and being like, yeah, yeah, you're not allowed to criticize me for any reason whatsoever. Okay. You know, if you have a problem 
and you give up on looking for the solution and, and you accept your less than ideal state about how your life is, that's your choice if you want to do that. And, you know, it, it, it sucks that she's paralyzed and whatever, you know, th those, that's not a hand I would want to be dealt. But you don't have to give up on looking for a solution to your problem, right? Just try raw eggs, for example. It's, it's very easily digested. And just because it's hard for you to find the solution does not mean that it's hard for somebody else to find the solution, right? You could be trying to solve a problem that you have for years, and then you come across somebody one day, you know, makes an offhand comment, and they just happen to have a lot more experience, practical real-world experience. I, I can't eat fried food. Yesterday, like the other day, I had, um, I had like four sandwiches, right? And like, is a sam if you have a sandwich, is that gonna make your stomach hurt? But I, I was like, I was dying. Well, two days ago, I had like four sandwiches, right? The next day, I was dying. I was on the toilet all day, it was awful. There's nothing wrong with the sandwiches. It's just the bread. You know, I had four like big baguettes. Does that mean I have, well, and also like, fine, I'm not paralyzed, I can go work out. And I found other foods that I can eat. But I think everybody has certain sensitivities to food that maybe they don't realize. Anyway, bottom line, if you have stomach problems, eat raw eggs or be a professional victim. I don't care. Like, much respect, Tiffany. Feel bad that, you know, whatever. But, like, if you actually want to put on some weight, then drink some raw eggs or try it at least. Like, you know, just try it. I don't know. Anyway, uh, thank you for somebody to do this. You got any more? Let me know. Peace.